Okay, so Carl Edmund has got through to the semi-finals of the Australian Open against Marian Cilic. Um, Rafa Nadal is yet another key top 20 player who's retired with injury or fallen out. Um, he retired in the fifth set against Cilic. So Djokovic and, and Nadal have both gone, both both key rivals to Federer, but Federer doesn't look perfect. He doesn't. And I do believe the heat is taking its toll on, on these tennis players as well as lingering injuries. But what gets me is they've had a very long layoff since the American Open, the US Open, and now it's been four months. That is a long layoff. And they get another long layoff until the French. The Australian Open happens at a really weird time in the, in the tennis calendar. It is an isolated event with the American Open, nothing for four months. Yeah, they've got the ATP Tour Finals in December, so there's still tour matches. And then you start the, the new tennis year. The heat is really taking a toll. Um, on, on the players. Carl Eben though, um, he has every chance now of winning. I think he could possibly beat Marin Cilic. He hasn't. He's he's been really, you know, and he's ranked number forty ninth in the world. I think so. He's not like a no hyper, but he's never won a, an ATP Tour final. Um, he's never been in a Grand Slam final before. He's a dark horse. He's an untested quantity, but at the same time, with Djokovic, Murray, and Nadal all faltering, it is a chance. For someone to unseat Federer, and I think Carl Edmund has the best chance possible because Marin Cilic, I don't think mentally has recovered from the Wimbledon, the Wimbledon final defeat. I don't think he has. I think he's going to be nervous. And with Federer's age, I think age is against him. Experience in his favour, but age against him. So this last four is going to be really, really interesting. I feel sorry for Nadal and Djokovic uh, and Murray and any other player who's had who's fallen foul of the heat or injury because. It, it's taking stop. And Nick Kyrgios played quite well this this time around. He actually put effort in, which is what we've wanted the entire time he's been playing is for Nick Kyrgios to finally put a session in. Um, so we, we we I hope Carl Eben. Carl Eben is my dark horse for the Australian Open. Um, but he's got to overcome Chilich. If Chilich beats him, then obviously, you know, he's got to a semi final. He's up and coming. It's great for British tennis that it's more than just Andy Murray in the men's singles. We have got Carl Eben. He's been threatening to break through for, for a couple of years now. He's a one positive light in an otherwise real bad period of time for the um, the Lawn Tennis Association, the LTA, with um, certain things going on with players, failing drugs tests and changing nationalities and stuff. So it's, it's great to see Carl Eben at the top. Um, this is not a fluke. This is hard work. This is hard work on Carl Edmund's part. He he really has put in a such a huge amount of effort and hard work to get here. At no point um, has he ever quit. Um, I think hard surface is probably his best surface as well. I don't think grass is his favourite surface. I think the hard courts of Australia and, and the US Opens suit him better than the clay of the French Open and Wimbledon's grass. I really, really do. Um, and if he wins a, a title, then, you know, fair play to him. Uh, I think we put too much pressure on Conta because she was the top-ranked women's player and the top-ranked British player on both sides. I think the media's got to stop putting so much pressure on them and just, just report how they're doing rather than going, they have to win. This is this is it. Best, you know, the media's got to be a bit careful how they report this because Murray's career is definitely threatened by this knee injury no doubt Murray's career is on the line if he doesn't fully recover same with Djokovic with his elbow Nadal with injury as well all their careers are getting peppered by these injuries that appear regularly and so you know you've got to be positive you know that Murray's had an influence on another player who can Carl Evan can influence other young British tennis players to take up the game so that we can be as good as, as Murray as Edmund you know but he's played fantastically well. Um, it's been a hard graft, and he's adapted to the conditions beautifully. Um, he he looks top form, mentally and physically. He hasn't had a five setter yet. So Chilich, even though Nadal pulled out the fifth set, he has had a five setter. That physically drains players, and I don't think Chilich is fully over the the mental side of losing in Wimbledon either. I think Chilich has some fragilities in his game that Edmund with his backhand and his forehand can take advantage of, so to speak. But anyway, I'm gonna leave that there. I'm gonna try and, you know, keep this brief. 
uh, on a quick note, um, obviously YouTube's changing its monetary policy, so when you do like and subscribe, please like and subscribe, share as much as possible, um, because we're, tr we're trying to keep the, the channel monetized. You will notice ads before my videos if they do disappear after the 20th. We haven't reached that target. Um, and yeah, we were gaining subscribers all the time, um, but instead of gaining like, I think I gained three overnight. Um, not bad going, um, but I may need to gain more. Uh, so I appreciate all your support. It's been great, and let's see how Carl Urban does. Um, and thank you very much. I'll have some more videos for you soon.